All right, here we are, pretty deep in the Brazilian jungle. And in today's video, we have lots of new information for Yvonne and I, new experiences and new lifestyles. So we are genuinely curious to learn more about our new friend, Marios's lifestyle. He has purchased a farm in an eco community whose goal is to be totally self-sufficient. So they will use solar panels, they will trade the farmed goods amongst themselves. And I believe they even have a school for the kids to learn in on site here in the Brazilian jungle. So come along with us as we learn more about uh, this unique lifestyle. I think next up we're going to see the community space and the school. Uh, let's go, very interesting. Those kids are having, oh my god! Oh my gosh, what a good start to the video! <laughs> First thing to see, okay, better than the city, man. <laughs> you have the same school like that, yeah. I know it's so fun, a fun well, school. Wow, well, uh -oh. cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. I think we're gonna go see the school next, so let's yes, go. that's cool. All right, so the school building itself is relatively simple, but also very beautiful, surrounded by nature. And inside, it sort of resembles like a community center. There are no children inside right now. I guess they're all off in the back of a truck having fun, but it has a kitchen in the back. There's a bunch of board games around, a sort of simple and beautiful schoolroom, as well as lots of activities and outdoor hanging out spots surrounded by nature. This place is very intriguing. And now we're actually off to Marios's lot, which I believe is lot number seven. Wow, bro. <laughs> but it's like nice. All this part here is like in, in the back I have cacao. The okay, Marios, tell me the thought process. You're in Europe and you're living your life kind of regular. Yeah. And somehow you decided you want to live in the Brazilian jungle. Man, it was like very spontaneous. I, I can say that uh, all my life I somehow I, I wanted to find a community, like some people, uh -huh. like minded people who like push for the same goal. So yeah, to yeah. Because in the end, you know, we live in communities more or less because it's a block with 50 apartments. Uh -huh. And yeah, I think after I came to Brazil, everything just happened, honestly. It was not, yeah, I know what I will do. It just ah. came, connected with the people. I saw the vision here of the land, nice people. And I like, because we are like pioneers, you know, like there's just one house. Yeah. And the, so nice. the vision is like, maybe there will be 30, 40 families, uh -huh. a school running, a, a ceremony place because the guy who is also one of the founders of the project he's um, doing also ceremonies of San Pedro it's like this um, cactus you know like oh, okay like an know, ayahuasca type thing yeah but he's doing like some American okay. uh, northern American uh, uh -huh. indigenous people ceremony with the okay. water drum okay and it's really cool so it's, he's really spiritual he's like body <laughs> mind and soul sure. for him he's <laughs> cool this is his lifestyle he lives like he says you know like yes, yes. yeah and man he has a really strong uh, strong energy and i think we will do this together uh, cool. it will be really cool here honestly. good for you bro and so to be clear this is not your house this is not where you live this is like a workshop or something temporary house okay so you're you're crashing here now that the construction is still happening on your main house here i just did now because i came from the simple room i came with the trip and i just moved after i came on 3rd of january i didn't have time but here i want to paint with white to make some shelves uh -huh. to organize a better bed but now i'm like chilling foam crashing on the, on the... but it's enough you know because yeah. mostly i spend my time in the community center for internet uh-huh and here i come in the evening cool and then you'll build your house right yeah, there there will be like the house in this part here nice when is now, it gonna be ready god knows <laughs> but probably somewhere next year Next year. We'll see. Uh -huh. We'll see because... How's the construction process? Man, here it's like uh, pretty difficult. I don't know. But I think it's difficult everywhere. Uh -huh. what I've seen. Sure. But uh, to find the right people uh -huh. and uh, the weather. It's 
crazy here. Uh, if raining. it rains, for example, three, four days, nobody brings me materials on this road, which we went. Uh -huh. Because with the big trucks, they cannot come. Fair. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, like they say, if God will, <laughs> God willing, yeah, yeah. If God will give us the weather and we will construct. But mostly, yeah. from what I heard, I think a minimum of one year is the sure. minimum period to construct. If God something. will, they will come to work. Exactly. <laughs> if not, that's okay. But, yeah, it's, uh, good, good for you, you man. Yeah. Good for you. And up here, you're gonna put all solar panels. It will be on this side of the roof, on uh -huh. the short one here. The northern. So solar panels here and then a specially made battery room yeah. and then you'll be self-sufficient living Mostly on the farm. The, the hole for the septic, for the yep. ecological septic tank, <laughs> which I will make with bananas. Because bananas wow. eat everything. I didn't knew till I came to Brazil. Oh. Bananas are cleaning everything, shampoo, everything you put at the bananas they Really? Yeah. Wow. They are like the cleaners. Really? I didn't yeah. know. It's me neither. <laughs> everything you give them, soap shit everything peace they like it they grow even bigger you know they wow. really like really the, yeah oh, that's good. The fruit after. yeah yeah they said it's it's just like a it's recycling the banana yes. is recycling oh. these chemical products somehow I didn't know amazing that. no way management amazing huge solution. piece of life you learn something every day so every the, day the bananas will uh <laughs> be like a recycler for all the waste kind of amazing <laughs> so cool little shack here and then i'm standing in a spot where uh he'll build his home and he'll be chilling in the community new experiences very interesting uh, but we've got the cherry tomatoes exactly ah. we can taste they were like pretty sweet aren't they? sweet organic well, fully organic no chemical nothing it's like just the minerals i added because here in brazil the soil is very acid it's a good soil ah. but it's acid and you have to put some uh, calcarium and some minerals to also lower the cool. acidity but it's just fresh like uh, i would say chicken shit, right. <laughs> chicken shit <laughs> organic yeah 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 organic and, uh, nice nice they were tomato i planted a lot of stuff but yeah Yes, it's be careful of this, Steve. These plants, they cut you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah okay. Chiririka. Chiririka. Safety, yeah. first. Safety first. Safety first. Hey, Manes, do you have any dreams of making a YouTube hey. channel? I think you're an interesting guy for YouTube. Try it, try man. it. Gabriel also told me, man. I, <laughs> I think also, I'm thinking. Honestly, for me, it was a thought process in 2015 when I went to Asia. I know it was pretty early in the uh, game when I was yeah, there. Yeah, would have worked. And I filmed that all my trip, but I didn't got the... I don't know. I, uh -huh. I didn't spend the time to edit and to really put the uh, work to, uh, what to was your something. What was your job before? I was automation engineer. I was working in like pharmaceutical industry. Automation wow. engineer. In a corporate world. Very corporate. And then you got like, sick uh, of that. In the middle of Novart is a very big pharmaceutical company and drug company. Yeah. Wow. From his, engineer to a uh, local yeah. farmer in the jungle, man. He's retired yeah. at 30. Retired no, at 30. And becoming a local <laughs> organic Cheers, farmer. Man. Can I eat? Can I eat one? Oh, yeah, man, of course. I'll have one. How is it? Man, they're sweet. I taste sweet? the last batch. I don't know now. Good this. tomato. Good tomato. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very nice. And I didn't do one. So you'll do most of the work yourself or you'll have some help from outside, from mm. local Brazilians or? It will be mixed with help. Mixed with help. It, two yeah. hectares is a lot of land. Yeah. So there's a lot of work to get. Starting with a guy, we, we think the trenches is like, for, I did some work, but honestly, it's like, so I you're have just... to appreciate the hard labor, which other people do, because it's hard work, like to work like 30 something degrees. Uh -huh. Hard work. In these fucking positions and. Yeah, 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 under the sun. Mm -hmm. But for sure, I will have help. At some point, depends how much I extend the garden. Because now, I can do it also myself, mostly cool. if it's uh, okay. But with time, why not? It's <laughs> like maybe I will do also like a volunteer base. You know, like bring people who want to spend time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me here. Can do. Coach yeah, surfing, like, where people come exactly. and they can do some work or something. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, thank you are here. Oh, thank you. No more.
Oh, so nice job. So pretty, no? So the florist from Bucharest mm -hmm. got us a bouquet yeah, from the jungle. Very Good very job. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Well flowered. Forte bine. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> Inside a Coke bottle. Wow, like a housewarming party, no? Yeah. Wedding party. Ooh. Wedding, <laughs> wedding so nice. party. This is our wedding. We'll be here next year. Oh, nice. <laughs> we have Jungle wedding with Jungle free Jungle. florists. Okay, okay. Deal. Yeah, Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so we just came walking over the hill here and we've just reached the ending of uh, Matios's property. Lot 7 is his and I have to say what an interesting guy. He's got this simple shack where he sleeps every night and he said to me, Steve, I've really leveled up because for four months I was sleeping in a tent while they were building the shack and now I'm sleeping in the shack while they're building the house. And to go to this lifestyle from automation engineer, I just think the world is full of very interesting people and for me to meet them and get to know them and sort of make a YouTube video, I just feel like what a gift. What a nice experience I'm having learning about Marios' life. Now, with that being said, we're walking down the path here towards something they're calling the Represa, which I think means like ravine or something. He looks so cool. Zoom in with the cigarette. <laughs> Ivana, yeah. million dollar question. Could you live in a place like this? Uh, I like I like it. It's kind of like going away for camping in Toronto when we used to live in a big city of Toronto. Mm -hmm. And then we want to get away for the weekend. Sure. Oh, but that's different than living. Living here. This is exactly right. People know, you, you guys know I'm a city girl. <laughs> So, I would come here for like vacation. Right. How about you? I agree. Uh, I admire the commitment. Uh, I really appreciate the quiet. It was absolutely no noise in this place. Uh, there's no fences, there's no borders. It's just the jungle. Um, but I like a little noise. I really admire uh, Marios and super nice guy. So sincere. He yeah. says, Steve, if you're ever in Bahia, come stay with me, no problem because I only have a shack now, but the house is being built and he goes, once the house is built, you can stay with me. No problem. Yeah. Uh, very sincere guy. If anything ever happen in this world, we can come here to refuge, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, It's kind of yeah. like a refugee space. Uh -huh. And you get like, everything is available. I know he's going to buy like some chicken, some goats, uh -huh. build a farm, and like have all the organic vegetables, <laughs> living healthy. So everything is available. To, for you to survive. You, uh -huh. know? you know what I mean? And uh, satellite, really, really fast Wi-Fi. Yeah. Satellite internet. So it's a uh, jungle refuge with some luxuries. Uh, very interesting, very fun experience today. Here, here is a potential place for the ceremony place. You know, to have like oh, some moleka yeah. between the water because it's also like symbolic, you know, like we are in a floating like peninsula, but it's not for sure, but it would be a nice place for like the ceremony, like between the rivers. Yeah, between the two streams. And there you have like it's one in the morning, you throw yourself in the fucking natural pool. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And the guy, the guy you bought the land from, he told you to explore your land. Yeah. Because they don't even know what's there. It's very wild. Sometimes you find like, um, you know, like old trees who fell down, but you find really good uh, wood, man, you know, like uh -huh. hard wood for furniture, for construction. So uh -huh. you can go in your land, just scouting, and maybe you find like three, four big pieces. You can also sell them, you know, like for like, I don't know, around $400 maybe a piece, you know, sure. so it's like you have free money somehow <laughs> because the forest is regenerating, of course. Yeah. And you find like gifts from the nature like look uh -huh. wonderful tree you can do i don't know nice piece of furniture uh -huh. or you can sell it and have money to yeah, one yeah, month. yeah yeah well i really have to it's a lot of things so your house uh bio construction you'll build it yeah. with natural Probably, yeah cool uh, 
bamboo structure, this pika pao, I think uh -huh. I pronounced correctly the name. It's really funny when they told you a pika pao, so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like Pikachu, you know, like, yeah. like ah! <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Okay, yeah, man. It's, uh, recycled material and earth. Good job, bro. Man, thanks. <laughs> it's cool, Thank bro. You, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's so cool. Because I'm not knowing exactly what I'm getting into. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's an adventure for you, but yeah, yeah. it's very interesting. It's very admirable. I'm, I'm, I like this kind of thing. It's yeah. interesting for me to see. It's, uh, that's why I appreciate you guys. I think that's why we meet at some point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in different versions, we chose also a crazy way of life. Yeah, ours, our, our, our lifestyle is a little bit crazy also. Unique, at least uncommon. Man, it is, man, to travel for so many years. Man, I traveled three <laughs> months. That was my biggest test, three yeah. months. And, and then you end up here. <laughs> no, it was like in 2018, that was my biggest trip. And yeah, I saw it like fucking shit. It's not easy. Someone changing how changing yeah. is like. Uh -huh. so you really have to embrace it and to like also the bad moment. The, yeah. The press. And also when you meet people, you spend a couple of days with them, you get like a tag. And then bye. Like, and then God, I know. Go. And it's like, no, it's a ride, man. It's, yeah. That's why I appreciate it. I did it for a short period, but still. I think it was enough to feel a little bit yeah. this movement, this dynamic yeah. in three months, like on the road. It was also Latin America, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. So uh -huh. it was yes. Interesting crazy. places to travel. Yeah. yeah, good. Well, good for you, bro. I admire you. Your life yeah. is cool. Me yeah. too, guys. Also, I admire you, bro. Tell you what, I really admire Marios because sometimes it can be very difficult to make a big change. I know from. Ivana and I, when we decided to live our life in a backpack on YouTube, the first step was the hardest one, the big change. And so, from what I understand, Marios' life was very good in Europe. He's a Romanian guy working as an engineer in Switzerland. Switzerland is known as like fully, fully, fully developed country, high quality of living. And he uh, made the huge change to live in a shack in the jungle because something inside of him was telling him he needed to make a change and it can be very difficult so although this is not maybe the life for me it's a bit extreme i can still admire marios's commitment to uh finding some purpose in life because what a big change and i'm happy for him so this is the solar panel that powers the pump. Yeah, this is the pump. And this is the pump. It's a really uh, small DC pump, so no, but no alternative current. DC. Just... Oh, it's direct current. Yeah. Oh wow. It goes when the sun is up. It goes when no, it stops. Okay. But it's really small, but it pumps like I think like ten thousand liter per day. It can pump. Okay, and this is drinkable water. This is we drink it without a filter on the line. It's like, but the pipe is down there. What you see at the top, it's cord. It's like some... sure stuff like which felt good but uh, and uh, it's okay for your stomach even your european man, stomach can I, drink the good I for drink you drink it since end of august strong stomach good but for you but it's really good man it's tasteful water it's full with the minerals it's uh -huh. everything you know what what we lack in our processed yeah. water somehow <laughs> it's real spring water exactly cool man So many of us. There's 70 lots here. No, 70, 70 hectares, uh, 30 lots of oh, two hectares. 30 lots of two hectares. The other parts are the community's parts. Okay. And the road, lots. it's also in those 70 hectares. So sure. like 10 hectares, it's community, road, and infrastructure, so to say. And 60 is divided by two hectares yeah. each. Got 30 it. 30 lots already sold, I think 10 or 11 till now. Okay. We are like mixed, also Brazilian, like two Brazilian. Oh really? English people, okay. yeah. But they didn't start it like they are still in um, their city life. Sure. They are doing the transitioning. But there's already a guy, John, from England, from London. Uh, he's living with in his tent <laughs> since one month, also on his land. Cool. Yeah, he's, sort of he's like, he's retired. Yeah. He said he wants to grow chicken, plant vegetables, and uh, make uh, make music as he plays like cool. two, three instruments. So a bunch he's of like, different people, kind of. Everybody had the same calling to go in the jungle and yeah. everyone came here. The first people are Julian and Pietro, they are like German from Germany, uh. but Pietro is Italian. Uh. 
they had like a restaurant business. She was working in a high position in Mercedes IMG, you know, the IMG division, the uh -huh. sport division. Yeah. I don't know, and they just <laughs> they took Vito, their son, and they are here for two years almost. But they moved here recently, two months ago. Oh, cool, but man. in Brazil. Yeah, like people who, I don't know, had a calling. But it's cool. We sit sometimes at night here and we talk and we say, man, what the fuck are we going to do? It's like jungle. But no, but leaving the joke aside, man, it's really 25 kilometers airport, Tileus, five kilometers beach. So it's yeah. not so secluded. You're like, ah. Oh. And after I've had my Starlink and my electricity. Yeah, like, Starlink, yeah. Man, I have all the luxury in, uh -huh. in a normal day with it's internet, cool. if you think. You can even work. You can. It's like... But yeah, I will continue traveling for sure. But I think this will be my home base. Like when I return, I want to okay. return to this every yeah, time. Yeah. Like to say, this is my home. <laughs> That's cool, bro. That's cool. I tell you what, very relaxing place to have a cup of fresh juice, completely silent. Only thing you hear is the wind in the trees. Very nice place to relax. Very friendly guy, Marios. And a uh, very interesting life. I'm happy for him. Very nice. Very nice video. Very nice experience. Hey, Marios. Thanks again for letting us make a video of your place. Man, my pleasure. Honestly, it was guys. so cool, man. I wish you all the best guys, respect for what you're doing also. Yes, thank you. And like I said, man, anytime with friends, this place will be open. Cool. For ideas to talk, all the controversial stuff. Of the world. <laughs> no rules. <laughs> exactly. Free society. Good for you, man. And you got your bike. And like you said, yeah. it's um, 25 kilometers from, from the, the airport Eus, and the airport, five kilometers five to the kilometers beach. from the beach. Got the motorcycle, living life one day at a time. Yeah, we'll see. Step by step. <laughs> but the vibe is good, the energy is good. For sure it will happen something nice. I'm, I'm <laughs> confident, it cannot be. I don't want to kill nobody, I don't want to steal. I, you know, like, all the ideas in a good uh, direction. Uh -huh. Good, man. Alright, thanks again, bro. Man, cheers. Later.